But first in the studio, we've got Mark Schofield from Sheffield Steelers Wheelchair Basketball. Welcome, Mark. Hi, Susie. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, nice to see you. So can you tell us, first of all, what is Sheffield Steelers? Uh, Sheffield Steelers is a wheelchair basketball club um, based in Sheffield. We're, I think, as far as I'm aware, we're the only one in South Yorkshire. We're actually one of the biggest in the country and possibly across Europe when you count up the number of teams and squads that we have. Yeah, brilliant. So can you tell us a little about the history of Sheffield Steelers? Uh, so it was founded in 1987, so 30 years ago this year, uh, with just the one team. Uh, in its history, it's been um, a previous winner of the Champions Cup, which is the wheelchair basketball equivalent of football's Champions League. So for a time, top team in Europe. Had a lot of players who were Paralympians, ex-Paralympians come in and out. And then, yeah, we've carried on building for a long time and got to the stage we are now. Brilliant. And how did you yourself first become interested in playing basketball? Um, well, I'm from Halifax originally, and um, sheerly by chance I was kind of loitering around the local leisure centre at Halifax when um, I saw a young kid in a wheelchair and he was throwing a ball in a hoop, went over and chatted to him. Uh, had a word about starting up at Halifax Cardinals, which was the first team I ever played at. Um, so yeah, I started there, me and this guy that I met, he's now been to the Paralympics and he lives in Spain. Uh, we both went to Sheffield together when I was about 13. So I've been at Sheffield for a pretty long time now, uh, nine years this year, 10th tenth, tenth year I think. Yeah, fantastic. And what kind of equipment do you use? Uh, it's all... It's all specialised kind of sports wheelchairs, which um, I don't know if anybody listening has ever seen them kind of on the on the TV, on the Paralympics or whatever, but they're effectively a pretty nimble adaptation of a regular everyday wheelchair uh, designed to help you keep your balance and avoid kind of accidents such as falling out or ramming into each other to as much an extent as possible. Yeah, are they quite light? Yeah, very it? lightweight. Um, other than that... Everything's the same, same ball, same ring, same height, everything, rules. Um, rules very, very similar to the able-bodied game with the exception of a couple in terms of practicalities and stuff. Yeah, so. brilliant. And can you tell us a little bit about your training? Yeah, so um, at the moment at the Steelers we have two club sessions a week. Uh, so we do one that's for kind of everybody invited. So we kind of get up to 15, 16 people to that um, on a weekly basis. And then we have kind of a Premier League, which is the squad that's competing in the Euro Cup this weekend. So we'll have a designated session on a Thursday night for the Premier League to kind of run through the more advanced end of stuff. And then a lot of our players will kind of find time in the week to do an hour or two kind of just training by themselves, working on their, on their individual skills. Yeah. So yeah, that's about where we're at at the moment. Fantastic. So Sheffield Steelers have got an event this weekend at Ponds Forge. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, this is the um, this is the Euro League, and uh, it's a pretty prestigious thing to be in. Really, there's um, there's three Euro Leagues that all lead through into different kind of championship rounds. Um, we've been lucky enough; we applied to host a round of Euro League three. So this is a preliminary round. Um, we've got teams coming in from Russia, Poland, and two teams from France. Uh, the winner of the round, so whoever finishes with the top seed will advance into the finals, which is the Challenge Cup, and that's in Vigo, which is in Spain at the end of April. So yeah, if we win win this weekend, then we're um, we're on into the finals. Fantastic, and it's free to come along and watch, I think. Yes, free entry for everybody. Um, should be kind of plenty of seats, plenty of volunteers there to look after people, so if you are kind of out and about at a loose end... Um, yeah, do feel free to pop in. Yeah, sounds brilliant. Uh, so what do you find most challenging about playing wheelchair basketball? Uh, it's the same, I think, as any sport, really. You, you live, for the, um, live for the moments where you're winning and where things are going well, and obviously the challenges are kind of the setbacks in terms of losing or just difficult situations. Uh, the season's quite a long season, runs for about eight months, so at times of that, the fatigue can really kick in, and that's kind of a kind of a challenge to push through but the rewards are well worth the uh, well worth the challenges yeah because i was going to ask what do you enjoy most about it uh, again it's like any other sport there's nothing that nothing that competes with winning and um going out there and doing what you've what you've set yourself a goal of doing which is hopefully what we'll do at Ponsforge this weekend 
yeah, there's no feel for me personally. There's no feeling in the world that substitutes going out there and winning a game or four games in this case. Yeah, brilliant. So, what would you say to someone who's thinking about coming along to Ponds Forge this weekend? Um, mainly, I mean, obviously, I'm here to do this interview. Um, I'm going to give you the best of it from my perspective. But if you are interested or whatever, then do come and find out for yourself. Um, because one thing I always find is, as soon as I mention to people that I play wheelchair basketball, they're full of questions. Everyone wants to know, is the ring the same height? You know, Are you allowed to do this? Are you allowed to do that? So people obviously have the interest. So yeah, it's here. It's in Sheffield. So come find out for yourself. And it's guaranteed to be, be pretty, pretty good quality stuff. Yeah, fantastic. So finally, how can people find out more about Sheffield Steelers? Uh, we are on Twitter, we're on Facebook, um, so there's pages for both of them. Uh, I believe the Steelers Twitter is at SteelersWBC, if anyone wants to go and check that out. Uh, I don't have the Facebook one off the top of my head. And we've um, we've currently got a new website under development as well, so that'll be um, that'll be going out fairly shortly. So yeah, do, um, do type us into Google and you should be able to find whatever you're looking for. Uh, failing that there's um there's contact details as far as i'm aware if you head to british wheelchair basketball's website um then yeah we should be accessible through that as well so yeah um anybody who got any interest do get in touch everybody's approachable yeah brilliant oh thank you i hope it goes well at the weekend oh, thank you very much